Yo, what's good everyone? So this morning I had plans to make a Drake tutorial and then I saw a comment from someone asking for a West Side Gun video and I realized I've never even done one on the channel. So today we're gonna make that happen, man. I just wanna make something dark and grimy. So perfect for West Side Gun, Conway the Machine, Benny the Butcher and just the whole Griselda team. It's essentially gonna be a dark boom bat beat that I'll be making from scratch. So let's just get straight into it. Alright, so for a lot of their beats, they do actually use samples, which I've got no problem with at all. But for the sake of the tutorial, I wanted to show you guys a bit more. So I'm going to make a melody and then maybe we could flip that like a sample. So I'm going to start with a grand piano. And we're just going to build some sort of dark chord progression. Let's bring this down. Yeah, maybe start with something like that. We'll copy it but to add a bit more tension. We could just add some notes that are close together like this. Like that. So maybe we could copy this. Let's just pitch that up. Hmm. See like that. Let's just stretch this out actually. See with these beats and the melodies especially, the chord progression doesn't change a lot. And that's how you get that dark tense feeling. I'm thinking we could add some rolling notes. Actually, we'll take that and we'll add it in a different version. Just because I might process that differently. With the chord though, I'm just pressing Alt and R to randomize it. And if you notice, the notes aren't playing at the same time. Just keeps it more natural. Let's add another bass note too. Let's copy that. Again. It might need some more work soon, but it's just giving me a good start. And then with this fall, we're gonna add some delay. So let's send both of these to mixes. Could add some tape delay. Oh, that sounds kind of hard. Get some reverb on there too. So we'll just get one more bass note too. Then I'm thinking something else here. Copy this. Let's try bring these up. Mm. And then it can come down. Let's actually swap them around. We're just going to get that same reverb on the main piano too. All right, cool. And then I think from here, we could just layer that piano with some sort of pad or some strings. So we'll open Analog Lab, then we'll just copy the MIDI, but we'll get rid of the bass notes, I think. Even this one sounds kind of sick. I'm just going to take out some high end though. Hmm. This sounds moody. And then because I know I'm going to sample this later, I might want some different parts, like some different chords. So I'm going to copy this, and then I think we could change it here. That could work. Kind of fits that tense vibe. Yo, we'll get this F sharpen as well. Oh, we'll pitch these up one. And then, yeah, we can just copy the pad in as well. So now at least we've got two different chords to work with. Okay, and a common sound that I hear in Griselda beats is bells. So I'm going to add a plugin called Mallet Flux in contact. I think just a simple pattern. Yeah, I could even just copy it. I think it works. All right, and then I think the only other thing I want to add is just some sort of texture. So I found this one in Omnisphere. And I'm just going to play the root note, which is E. But I've turned this one way down, and I'm just going to cut out some highs and lows. Okay, from here, I'm going to highlight everything and send them to an empty insert. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to get this sounding more like a sample. And there's a few different ways we can do it. We could use VST plugins such as RC20, or we could render this out, change the BPM, change the pitch, or just chop it up, or even do a combination of everything. So AT BPM might be the one that I'm going to finish on. So I'm actually going to pitch this up first. We'll bring it up to 100 and then I'm also going to transpose everything and just pitch it up by like three. 
So we're gonna start a bit higher and then we'll try a plugin called Cassette. I haven't used this in a while. Hmm, oh, this one sounds kind of hard. Could also try this tape plugin from Maturia. Just bring the drive up and then you can mess around with the flutter. Oh, wow. So I think I like that, but that's just going to be the start of the processing. So I've separated the pattern and I'm just going to create a couple different versions. So we'll have one with everything, one without the bells. Could do one with the piano and the pad. And then I think just one with the piano. Okay, from here, we're going to render the master. We'll change the BPM back to 80 and then we'll just stretch it out so it's in time again. See what I'm saying? And even just doing that gives it a more authentic sound. But now what we're going to do is render this version and then I'm going to bring this into something like Fruity Slicer and we'll see if we can find a different chart. So yeah, let's go to opening Fruity Slicer channel. We'll just cut this by beat, bring the attack up and the decay. And then we'll just try and find a new pattern. See what I'm saying? We could just find a chop like this. So let's take that. We'll copy it. Bring this up. I think we'll just bring that one up. So it's kind of sounding the same, but we're just getting more of a choppy sound. Let's pitch this whole thing up too. Mm. Like that could work there. All right, next up, this needs some sort of bass line. So I'm going to open contact. That sounds kind of hard. Let's make those shorter though. Let's copy that. All right, so I think I've got a bass line. Like I said, just simple notes. I'm just going to start adding in the drums and then I can always change it if I need to. So we'll start with a simple pattern. And then the trick with beats like this is to just make things as natural as possible. So for example, we could even bring out some of the snares. Copy that. And then I think we could get a snare roll as well. And then right at the end, we'll just switch it up again. Yeah, I think just two. Okay, we'll grab a hat as well. This one's from my Timeless Boom Bap kit. But with hats, this is where you really want to get as natural as possible. So I like to bring some off grid just by holding Alt, left clicking, and then we play with the velocity as well. So we could start with that, copy it, and then we'll change something again in this part. Already we're getting that vibe. Let's grab an open hat as well. We'll just see where it sounds right. So I like it landing on the snare. But then when we do that, I think I'm going to mute the hi-hats. All right, with the open hat, I'm also just controlling the length of it. So I'm just turning on the envelope and I've got everything down except for the hold. And I might just leave a bit of release. And now I'm just going to make everything this size. So now it's just going to stop when the hi-hat plays because that would happen on a real drum set. All right, let's send all those drums to mixes as well. We'll route everything to an empty insert. Let's call this drum bus. Then I've just pulled up the plugin knock and there's a couple nice presets in this one. Like for example, this breakbeat sort of distortion. Oh, that sounds hard. 
It's a bit too loud though. Let's bring the in back. And then I think the drums need some reverb as well. So we're going to use that same plate reverb. We'll go to advanced. And with the high pass filter, we're just going to bring it up to about 200. Might even make the bass short, you know. And then just add a couple more notes like this. And then with the live bass guitar, I want it to have a bit more sub. So I'm just pulling up an EQ because if you look at the key, the root note we're working in is E and the Hertz for E is 41.2. So then in our bass, I've just got this set to 41. Mm. So this is before and then with our bass. Add so much more sub. You might need headphones to hear that though. Might even try a different preset for that bass. That could work. Another thing we could do is actually add an 808 under the live bass. So sometimes that can work better. So I'm just going to grab the deep one from my source boom bap kit. And let's actually turn our bass off. Set this to cut itself. Then we'll just copy this bass pattern in. We'll bring it up. We'll just fade it out. Now the low end's just clashing a bit too much. So I'm going to go to knock and then just bring down the sub here. So yeah, that's another option that works for these beats. You just have the bass guitar for the high end and then an 808 for the sub. It sounds sick there, but for this beat, because the kick has so much sub in it anyway, I think I prefer just the kick and the bass guitar for this one. And if you're looking knock, I've got the sub up with the root note E, and then I've got the decay time up too. So that's just going to give me a bit of an 808 anyway. Mm. Sounded great, man. That's going to be the main part of the beat, but I might want one other part for variation. So I'm thinking we could get a different chop. Definitely something without the strings. Yeah, like this part. This part sounds crazy. All right, so we've got those two sections that we just need the intro. I think we could just repeat maybe the piano by itself. Just this. Then it can just drop in and then just have one snare before the drop. And then I think for the intro, we just need some sort of movie dialogue. All right, so I've just taken this dialogue from Pulp Fiction, one of my favorite movies, and then we'll add this old telephone effect. Maybe not as harsh though. Really think about and then we'll just get that reverb on it too. And then also in the intro, I'm just pulling up an EQ, just filtering out the highs and the lows. And then I'm just going to automate it so that when it drops, we're just going to hear more of the bass and the highs, just so there's more impact. Basically, you just want to walk the earth. What you mean walk the earth? Then we could just make some cuts like this. copy that again but on this one i'm just going to switch up the pattern one more time because i want to introduce some of the strings but not all of them yeah just something like that and then just for the sake of the video i'm just going to copy this and let's have a listen from the beginning before i do i've just added an acapella in and I haven't structured it perfectly around the vocals but it still sounds hard you really think about quitting the life yeah most definitely what I've been sitting here contemplating. First, I'm going to deliver this case to Marcellus. Then, basically, I'm just going to walk the earth. What you mean, walk the earth? Hey, yo, I'm from a back block on the east side, piece of wall. I will leave Roy with the mm. Mac on, piece of law. I hope the photo yo is gangsta. This beat sounds with perfect with his vocals. Shot a nigga on the A-clip. Son of don't say this person you up five times a day. Prayers, niggas taste the seven. Break the snare. Niggas came through, stabbed them on the way from niggas. Catch you at the showers, 400 suits. Bubble grease to put up in a couple suits. Shop on double loop. Nobody got hurt. This would normally be the start of verse. We're backing up trouble at the W. What's up? But you nothing to still plotting and scheming on the cat they dreaming. Get shot out the head, wrong prey demon. You ain't breathing, you ain't reeking. Lips moving, you ain't breathing. You start coughing up love for the same reasons. You ever show the honey, then split it all in the and same way. Ray sleep, face leaking, chill. Like the rape creeping, the brick broken, eight pieces. Double C's on the sway sneakers. I kicked the 
mail shit. Who you be? Where you broke from? I had to pill shit. I had to pill shit. So yeah, if you were feeling this tutorial fish. and you want more boom bap, just click up here. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. So it's moving fast as we cook it up. We sell it quick. Any beat I'm on, I gotta get my shit off. You're watching cars sturdy and up. Take that shit off. I'm impacting the culture like Eric Bischoff. Big biscuit out that biscotti making my bitch call.